Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To today's vlog. Today, what we're going to focus on is cutting bangs. I know a lot of you guys out there have issues with different types of bangs, understanding which ones to use. So what I did today was I put together a compilation of every type of bangs you could pretty much ever think of. So we have long, heavy bangs, uh, long, light bangs, medium, side swept bang, um, choppy, side swept bang, straight fringe, and then a really short, grungy looking bang at the very end just for fun. So hope you guys like this. I'm gonna get started with the step-by-step. -step. Make sure if you wanna follow us, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that we put out. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Here we go, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by sectioning off the mannequin to get ready for uh, cutting the bangs. So what I'm gonna do is go from the high point down to the recession point on the head um, and just create a nice triangle right in the forehead area of the uh, mannequin or of your client. Um, now I'm gonna clip that away. I've got my triangle. Now I'm gonna take a left-hand side parting. We're gonna start off creating a heavy, longer side bang. So what I'm gonna do is go with really low elevation. The lower the elevation when you're cutting a bang, the heavier it's going to be. Uh, we've talked about this in past videos. If you, um, you have to treat the front of the head the same as you would treat the back. So if I'm trying to create light airy layers, then I definitely wanna elevate more. With this, what I wanna do is add some extra weight. Um, and this would be for somebody that um, maybe wants to be able to pull their hair back and doesn't want their hair to fall out, uh, things like that, but they still want that kind of angled fringe around the face. So I keep the low elevation. I work um, diagonal sections all the way back, bringing them to a stationary guide and then connecting it on the opposite side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow it dry. So what I want you guys to see after every bang that I cut, I want you to see the dry finish look of it so you can compare which type of bang you're looking to create. Now keep in mind, I'm doing uh, very basic versions of each bang, so if you elevate it a little bit more, you could take out a little bit more weight. Um, so this would definitely be based on each of your clients. Don't you know do this exactly the way I'm doing it every single time. So now we're gonna use our Vibra Straight Iron, go through, iron it out, just so you guys, you guys can see that polished finish and how the bang is actually gonna lay. Some guests really like that heaviness in the front, especially if they have a lower density or kind of a weaker hairline. Um, and like I said, if they want to pull all their hair back and not have the hair falling out. So now we're going to move into a light, long side bang. And what this is going to do, it's going to be cut pretty much the same. The only difference is now we're elevating the hair. So we talked about if you, the more you elevate the hair, the lighter it's going to be in the front. So I'm doing a 90 degree elevation with a stationary guide. So I'm over directing everything over to the same point, pushing it away from my body. I like cutting from a, a short to long point, so um, that's why I'm pushing the hair away. You could stand on the opposite side and pull the hair towards you, just really whatever makes you comfortable. Um, but I, I'm working that stationary guide, cutting, and what that's doing is collapsing that hair, but it's giving it a seamless feel because of the fact that I'm following the head shape. So just make sure when you elevate the hair that your finger angle is parallel with the forehead. If you elevate any higher, it's just gonna collapse it too much. So now we're gonna blow it dry. I wanna show you guys the difference. You can really compare the heavy bang uh, as opposed to the light bang. So I think that this is, a, this is such a good visual for me. This is a video that I've wanted to create for a long time because we don't get the opportunity to see these visually next to each other, all these different haircuts and different ways of removing and keeping weight. So you can see the flow, um, it works really well. You can see the weight that's been taken out right around the edges of that haircut uh, where it was heavy before. Um, so it just makes it a lot easier for your guests to be able to style it and maneuver it. So now we're gonna work on a shorter side bang. And what I'm gonna do is take diagonal forward sections, over direct them, creating a stationary guide. And again, because we wanna go heavy, I'm keeping my elevation low and cutting uh, with my finger angle parallel to my parting. So just making sure I keep that consistent. Um, 
Now, if you wanted to create a little more of a light feel to this fringe, what I would do is just um, suggest slight elevation after each section that you take. Um, no one says that you have to stay either stationary or, or um, kind of extremely move it. You could just slightly lift it um, as you go around that curve of the head, and then you won't get so much of a weight line um, on the opposite side. What I wanted to do for you guys today is just show you what that stationary guide looks like. Um, it's got a really cool feel to it, and it really pushes that weight down to the cheekbone um, area. So you can see that there is a little bit of layering. Why that happens is because as I round the head, um, my elevations change. So we did create some layering um, following the round of the head there. Now I'm just connecting the opposite side using my finger angle the same way. And I'll go through, blow it dry, iron it out so you guys can see uh, what this looks like. I think this is a pretty standard bang and I think this is what a lot of people cut and then they get upset that it's a little too heavy. So this is definitely, you gotta listen to your guest what they're looking for, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look lighter and more uh, PC in a second. So we'll go through again with the Vibra Straight Iron, iron it out so you guys can see the true shape of the haircut. You'll notice when I'm cutting hair, I'm using a tighter teeth comb. I'm using a 339 comb from Wyas Park. When I go through to iron the hair, I use the, this is the 337 comb, um, just because it, it's a little bit easier to get through the hair. You can see that nice soft angle. It's all created with over direction and finger angle, guys. So pretty cool. Now we're going to do a light, short, uh, more airy, kind of fringy, uh, I guess fringy would be the word, but a PC look uh, in the bang. So what I'm going to do is take the weight, um, over, over direct everything over the part. So I'm taking a vertical section, over directing everything over the part, twisting it, pinching it in my finger and doing a tease cutting technique with the scissor. What the tease cutting technique is, if you haven't seen that in some of our past videos, um, you can also look it up on our YouTube channel for sure. But the tease cutting technique is a half open, um, half closing of the scissor. So you're just closing the scissor down on, pinching the hair into the scissor. Um, you'll be able to see a better angle of it here. So I take that vertical section and then I'm just half closing as I go into the hair. Uh, we definitely have more detailed videos on that technique if you're looking to learn it. You also could create more of a light PC feel by elevation. So remember the um, second bang cut that we just did. Um, all you'd have to do is elevate those bangs up and you would get the same sort of effect. I like it being a little more choppy. Um, and that's what the tease cutting technique does. It doesn't, it's not giving it an exact feel. It's giving it more PC kind of textured feel. Now we're gonna go through and cut a straight bang. I like to do this on dry hair if I can. And what I do is I use the tip of the scissor or the blade of the scissor to lift up the bang. I slide my comb underneath using um, not super wide teeth, but not super tight either. So the 339 comb works pretty well for me for this. Um, and I go in, I hold the hair up with a nice elevation, not too high, because um, again, the higher I elevate that comb, the more layered effect I'm gonna get um, on the hair. So I want that nice solid line in there. So I just hold the hair tight with the comb and I go through and I use my blade to cut the scissor and I use the comb to hold the tension. So you can see you get that nice um, hard line fringe in there. That works for um, any place throughout the head to create that straight line. Now we're going to go through and create a grunge bang. And this is something that's pretty popular. You'll see it all over Instagram and um, you know a lot of hairdressers are creating this kind of chunky um, PC bang in the front, it's really short, and then they let the longer hair fall over top. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys this as well. I know it's not a uh, probably a popular thing in your salon, but people may ask for it, so I think it's good to know it, and it's just fun to cut. So going through, I create that um, PC-ness by really angling my scissor and cutting into it, deep point cutting, and then I go through and I do that tease cutting technique to piece out the overlay. So it's really combining a lot of the different techniques that we did. So you can see how that looks. Looks pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all the different types of bangs that I had in my head. If you guys have any ideas, post them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. There's the video.
All right, guys, if you like this video, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends. Make sure to go join fscsocial.com. That's our social media community. Uh, we have our own app, so go download it, fscsocial.com. Thanks for watching.